Hello everyone and welcome to Monkeyfish channel. Today I'm going to share with you another weapon sparring because some time ago I get a request to do machete versus nunchaku. I don't have a sparring version of machete but I'm going to use this uh, butterfly wind chun knife as a machete and this self-made foam nunchaku. It's a PVC pipe covered with foam because I don't want to use this wooden one. <laughs> yeah, so let's get started. I decided just for fun to count the points and I'm going to count only those hits which could give you real damage or kill. Here I think I will give points for both sides because I hit him first in the head and this could stop him but maybe not. You have to remember that in the sparring we're using this light version of soft nunchaku. So if you get hit with this thing would be very really bad. You can feel a lot with this one. But if you get hit with this thing in your head, then it's game over. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, that's... Duel between these two weapons, in my opinion, is not really fair because this is a sharp weapon, this is a blunt weapon. So the guy with the sharp weapon, if he come close, this guy is dead. But just come close to this thing. See, it's much longer than this knife slash machete and if somebody know how to use it i don't i never was fan of nunchaku and i never used time to study it or train with that i know just the basics so if somebody know how to use it then it's freaking scary i think that if you get hit with this thing in your head then it's game over but if you're a machete guy and you you know you have to close the distance to get to this guy if you try to get to close and you get hit in your arm or something then you can still close the distance and finish the guy and just deal with the pain later but if you get hit in your head it's game over or if you get hit in your knees then it will just slow you down or maybe stop you but with the arms I think you could handle it and just finish the job and then cry about this after five seconds come on that's it yeah it's hard and done so now as always we're going to switch the weapons and see how it is wow. people like to say that you have to just close the distance and nunchaku is not scary anymore yeah just close the distance Yeah, just close the distance. Just close the distance.
I know that this is just a playful sparring with the soft weapons but I try to keep this realistic so I don't want to get hit with this thing because I know that if I get hit in my head with this then probably I going to go sleep so I'm not trying to be a hero from the action movies so I can do everything and take the shots because maybe I cannot take the shots so I trying to avoid this thing and found a way to come close to get the gun Close the distance. Just close the distance. That's it, guys. Fantastic. Great job. Great job. Okay, so this is it. You ask, I delivered. And as you could see, those two rounds was completely different. My opponent is much better with Nunchaku than I am. So you cannot say which weapon is better. And as I always like to say, weapon is only a tool in the hand of the fighter. So if you have some skills, then doesn't matter what you have in your hand. So, this is it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.